there is a twist again in the triple c house there seems to be a lot uh, of water shaking under a new current because uh job sikala you would know him he was a deputy national organizer for the mtc alliance which led to the formation of triple c but sikala has been languishing in prison for more than 480 days now we're running close to 500 days uh of his incarceration and there have been uh concerns that the party triple c seems to have forsaken the former saint mary's legislature especially members of the party who are supposed to be the ones leading uh calls for his uh, release from prison so now what has happened is that uh, the detained triple uh, c activist has appointed uh, a team that should go around mobilizing what he calls job sikala solidarity chapters uh, around all 10 provinces of the country so that team is going to be led by mr opet masaure uh, you know him he has had a number of run-ins with the law he has been arrested a number of times he is a brilliant organizer we all him we all know him uh, he is the president of the amalgamated rural teachers union of zimbabwe and he has been arrested a number of times assaulted a number of times hounded out of the country uh, to seek uh, asylum briefly in different other countries including south africa so misty masaraure uh, who is the atus president has been tasked by job sikala to organize this job sikala solidarity rallies which if you look at them correctly are more of the foundation of a formation of a new mass movement because you will know that people have lost faith in the triple c they have lost faith especially in advocate nelson chamisa because he has never led people from the front instead he keeps on giving people bible faces uh, especially on micro blogging site x which is formerly twitter and a number of people are saying that they knew they need a new leader who is going to be a bit more uh, militant and sikala has been seen as someone who fits that bill and now it seems that uh he has begun to lay the basis so that when he comes out he's going to be coming out to ready ground where he's going to then uh, lay the foundation for a new mass movement in zimbabwe you will know job sikala very well as a former leader of a party called mdc 99 so i'm going to read what he wrote uh it's a public statement that he wrote it goes my dearest zimbabweans i job sikala a political prisoner incarcerated in chikurubi maximum prison by the regime in zimbabwe to hereby announce the mandate granted to the following persons to organize mobilize and set up regional township and street job seeker solidarity chapters throughout the state of zimbabwe opet masaraure national solidarity organizer veteran trade union leader president of the amalka mated rural teachers union of zimbabwe his mandate will be to carry out the four state roles since the day of my arrest on the 14th of june 2022 i did not become a political orphan as anticipated he together with the masses of our people adopted me from the dump side together with the masses of our people they gave me the greatest gift of love together with many others he was humiliated and suffered in my name he like many is the unsung hero of solidarity he is now mandated to take the solidarity gospel to all the 10 provinces of our nation to each and every village street township growth point town and city to all those who have been blackmailed scorned humiliated fought and, and dissuaded from exercising your free will solidarity to me this is the time to 
to organize yourselves without fear. You are not on the wrong side of history. Do not join the road of those on the wrong side of history. Do not dabble in dubious politics. In carrying out this mandate, Masaraure must always remember the following enduring words of great leaders who graced planet Earth, whose legacy illuminated the challenges of today. Then he goes on to quote uh, the former luminaries of the struggle. I choose to identify with the underprivileged. I choose to identify with the poor. I choose to give life for those who have been left out of sunlight, of the sunlight of oppression. That is a quote from Martin Luther King. He goes on to quote uh, illustrious uh, South African freedom fighter Robert Mangaliso Sobuwe in saying, when we embark on a campaign, it will be the leaders who will be in front. They will not remain behind while the masses rot in jail. Then he quotes again Gwandile Kondo, a fearless leadership that has from the front in the face of life threatening adversity, an ethically grounded leadership that embraces the possibility of an unending suffering. He goes on to quote uh, Frederick Hegel, growth comes through pain and struggle. He goes on and he states that let me take this opportunity to thank Mr. Moken Komichi for his solidarity. When he visited me at Chikurupi Maximum Security Prison, my first instinct was to refuse to see him. My conscience then told me to see him. I looked him directly into his eyes to discover his intentions. His eyes were full of love and compassion. I felt touched and asked myself several guilty conscience questions why I turned down his several requests to visit me. Prison sometimes is a place to discover new things. I discovered that in leadership, one must not be stiff naked, too harsh and unyielding. Since then, he never missed any one of my court sessions, an act of solidarity that eluded those I regarded as friends and colleagues. I came to the conclusion by Martin Luther King Jr. that with the best of people, there is some evil. And within uh, the West, there is some good. This is the new chapter and a new journey in the world of solidarity. The love shown by those most loved must be embraced and reciprocated with a double portion of love. Hate has ruined civilization. I am currently under repressive incarceration in prison because of hate. Love conquers, love leads. Those who stand with me, I shall stand with them tooth, nail, and claw. With all my love, be blessed, Job, Sikala, Chikurupi, Maximum, Security, Prison. As you can hear, that is a pregnant statement from Job Sikala, who was arrested for his activism on behalf of Triple C, but who many feel has been uh, forgotten by the party, has been betrayed by the party's leaders, who instead of fighting for, re for his release are busy fighting among themselves over useless positions that they are not even going to do anything with because ZANU PF continues to rule. And while they are busy fighting each other, instead of making these litigations uh, to try and make some court cases for the re for, for the release of Job Sikala, they are still busy fighting among themselves. They don't care about what uh, the incarcerated former party leader is going through they've hardly ever said anything about him they only speak about him when they've been asked why they are quiet so this pregnant note somehow takes a dig at those he even says that leaders should lead from the front not from the back as has been said to be the case with especially triple c leaders who only leave people to suffer on their behalf. You know, there is a man called Tinashe Chitsunge who was killed during campaigns for Triple C. Uh, you know also 
there was there's the case of more blessing ali who was also killed uh, there is a case uh, of reverend Tafumane Masaya, who was killed just recently, the most recent one to be killed. There is a number of other party leaders who have been uh, jailed. Others have been uh, assaulted. They've been abducted. So there is concern that instead of spending time uh, on Twitter uh, posting, that is, or, or on X, posting a number of Bible verses, the mainstream party leader is not doing enough in terms of fighting for the release uh, of Job Sikala. We saw Triple C recently published a document where they were saying that they are going to go all over the world to put pressure and do advocacy for the release uh, of Mr. Sikala. But the last that we heard about that document or that we heard of that document was when it was read out and nothing has been done. So now uh, Job instead has put in place a team that will specifically look at that. But by them going to all the provinces, all the 10 provinces, you know that this means that they are getting solidarity, uh, which will not only lead to putting pressure on the government to release him, but also uh, lay the groundwork or the foundation for a possible formation of another mass movement which will be built around Job Sikala's militancy, which is what many Zimbabweans have been calling for because they've lost faith, uh, faith in what is there at the current moment because other than giving Bible verses and doing sterile speeches, there is nothing that any of the parties that are there right now, including the so-called mainstream opposition party, have been seen to be doing. So we keep a keen interest in this uh, tenor of events while also following uh, what is going to happen in the courts, uh, especially today at 2.30, at 2.30 where we expect the ruling to be done uh, on the indictment uh, of Sengezo Chawang by members of Triple C who claim that he is not what he claims to be, he is not a member of the party and certainly not an interim secretary general of the party and not a person who should be having any local stand of recalling party members. They are also saying that he should not be seen or allowed to be using Triple C name in any correspondence or any platform. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share.